All right. Yeah, thanks, Alexandra. Of course, the situation out there with some street flooding. There were reports of water rescues happening. And Colin Arnold with the New Orleans Emergency Management Office is joining us by phone now to give us the latest on what's happening out there. Thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks, Katie. Thanks, Sharice. Yeah. What can you tell us about those water rescues? Is everybody OK out there? Yeah, we're not getting any reports of injuries right now. We know that uh, Canal Boulevard was location, and I know that there were uh, some vehicles that were flooded uh, at uh, Downman Road and mm -hmm. Hain Boulevard. Yeah, that is um, not big reason for that. Two, yeah, two uh, two areas that uh, typically, um, you know, as Chris was talking about, uh, t tend to start to collect water rather quickly. You know, this is, um, you know, we had some, we're getting into that time of year as we enter in May. We've had a, a several weeks, I think, of relatively dry, a relatively dry climate. And now we're heading into May. And I think this is a reminder that we're going to start seeing these afternoon type events occur and that people really need to be careful when they're driving. Six inches of water can start to immobilize uh, a regular vehicle and about a, uh, you know, a little less than a foot uh, with an SUV. But really, uh, you know, turn around, don't drown. Uh, it looks like we're getting through the most of this. I think the the, uh, the heaviest rain was due to the slow movement of uh, these these storms earlier. Uh, they're starting to clear out now, but no injuries that we're seeing right now. We've got probably about 15 areas around the city on Streetwise that are showing uh, reports of street flooding. Um, Sewage and Water Board has 93 of 99 pumps. I've heard of no issues of them today. And in fact, many of these areas are already starting to drain. None of the underpass pumps are affected. So really, this is just a matter of, you know, our folks uh, given the pumps time to, you know, clear out some of this water that tends to collect in low areas. Uh, Colin, right now, I don't know if you have your, your eye on the screen, but we're showing one of the water rescues. This is at the, the underpass that's on Canal Boulevard, a place that we typically see flood uh, fairly often and fairly quickly. We have some signs out there that alert people to when not to go underneath this over underpass, but it seems like this is a continuous problem here where people are still getting stuck under here and water still continues to collect under that area what are we doing to fix that well i mean there's a there's two prongs to that uh, you know one is obviously the lights come on when there's uh, pressure triggers activated in the bottom of the basin there and and that will flash red lights that say high water do not enter uh, unfortunately you know folks need to listen up and, and really look and heed those warnings what we can also do is put out barricades uh, as well, and uh, that is something that we can do uh, to really try and prevent this, and, uh, and and that's what we'll continue to do. These two gentlemen appear to have some health issues, and hopefully they were taken out. You said nobody was hurt. Talk about the pump situation in Lakeview, because we also had some video that we were showing a little while ago about with some street flooding that really didn't appear to be moving a whole lot. Do you see or are you hearing that the street flooding is now starting to ease? Are the pumps catching up? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm hearing that it's starting to ease and that the pumps are catching up. Uh, I, I have their latest report from just the other day uh, of 93 of 99 pumps uh, operational uh, or able to operate. They have uh, adequate power and redundant power systems. I should mention that, uh, you know, we currently have about a little over 3,000 customers without power, mostly in Gentilly and the lakefront heading out towards New Orleans East. That's down from 5,800 earlier this afternoon. And I think those restorations will continue rapidly once the conditions are uh, improved enough for the utility crews to get out there and fix those things. Are any of those three pumps that are not functioning in Lakeview, do you know? Uh, I don't know offhand. Let me take a look. Um, I, I don't know that right offhand. Okay, we'll have to check, check more closely uh, at that yep. and see right. if that's the situation out there. It seems like the water is just kind of standing there a little bit. Yeah, it's taken a while to go down. That video we showed you a little bit earlier. One of the men that was rescued, uh, EMS, did arrive and spoke with both of those men. One of our reporters was live out there speaking to them. Hopefully we can get an update on how they're doing, but it seems like one was having somewhat of a, what it looked like was a medical emergency mm -hmm. out there. I, I have to say, I, I've, other than the obvious, the over underpasses that are close are there any other streets right now that we're asking people uh, to avoid at this point no i would just say to use a lot of caution uh in in the mid-city gentilly and portions of new orleans east particularly out towards the lake that seems to be where the majority of the the heaviest rainfall occurred 
Um, obviously, we're looking at some numbers right now of, of anywhere from two to three inches in some areas. Um, I've got one report of four inches in uh, around Canal Boulevard in that area. I'm a little suspect about that that number. Um, that that might have to be. We have to recheck the. Um, the rainfall on that area. It really seemed that the rain was coming in waves at points right. this afternoon, especially in that mid city area that you're talking about, which unfortunately is one of those places that even our down the drain investigation covered several years ago. But uh, it's an area that tends to flood. And if you did see that level of rainfall in a short period of time, you can see why the pumps would have a hard time keeping up. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I'm still trying to find that pump and power report uh, while on the fly here, but um, to see about the Lakeview uh, stations. But uh, it's, to my knowledge, uh, there's been no issues with the uh, pumping at this point. Um, I spoke with Sewage and Water Board about an hour ago, and uh, they were in rain mode and continue to work. I think what we're seeing is the... Um, the, there was a lot of back building behind these storms and uh, they just kept regenerating behind themselves mm -hmm. and that's what continued this rain and that's what happens when you have afternoon heating when we're starting to get up into the 80s and 90s and we start you know seeing those humidity levels we're going to start seeing that instability and these types of like training rain events and back building rain events can occur yeah, we're going to have to check with our meteorologist to see if we can expect another round coming through in the next couple of hours. And then, of course, keep a close eye on those pumps and see if they have drained enough in order to be able to take on that water. Right. We have lifted neutral ground parking restrictions until 6 p.m. We'll reevaluate that based on what we're seeing tonight and then tomorrow for the forecast as well. So, so stay tuned for that. We'll obviously push that out. And this is an opportunity, if you haven't signed up yet, you can text NOLA READY, one word, NOLA READY, to 77295 and receive those updates real time. All right, Colin, thank you so much for that update.